I'm going to be showing you how to make this cute little bow barrette. You're going to need a worsted weight 4 yarn, and I'm using 100% cotton. And you'll need a 5.5 millimeter crochet hook. And a barrette clip of some kind. I'm using this, and I got it at Walmart in the um, near the fabric section. And then you'll need either some fabric glue like this that I got at Walmart, um, or you could use hot glue as well. So we're going to start out using a slip knot and putting that onto our crochet hook. Now we are going to do a chain 32. Okay, so what is going to happen is once we have our bow finished, this is how it's going to kind of go onto our barrette. It'll be kind of folded over at each end. So I need two more here. Okay, so now I have 32 and you're going to skip the first two stitches and half double cro or sorry, double crochet in each stitch for a total of 30 double crochets. So I went ahead and finished my row, so now onto row 2, we're going to chain 2 and turn. And working back across your double crochets from the previous row, we're going to continue on with one double crochet in each stitch for a total of 30.
Alright, so on to row three, we're going to continue on with the same pattern, chain, one, chain two, turn, and double crochet in each stitch for a total of 30 double crochet. Alright, so I went ahead and completed 5 rows of 30 double crochet. So now I'm going to finish off. So now you've kind of got a rectangular piece here and what is going to happen is we're going to fold those ends in and sew them to the back and then we're going to scrunch the middle to make the bow. So now we need to crochet the center piece that's going to go right there across the center of the bow. So with another piece of yarn, you can use the same color or a different, whatever you choose. Start out with a slip knot and put it onto your hook. We're going to chain three. One, two, and three. Okay, so now we're going to single crochet across. To make sure you skip the first stitch so you'll have two single crochet. So that is row one. Then we're going to chain one and turn. We're going to do six total rows of two single crochet in each row. So I went ahead and completed mine and I finished off and cut my yarn leaving a little bit of a tail to work with. So here is our centerpiece and that's what's going to cinch the middle of our bow in. So I'm just going to set that aside and now we need to sew the ends of our bow in. So there's no specific number of stitches, just kind I kind of eyeball it and see where I want it, whether I want it a little bit longer or shorter or whatever. And then I just sew it to the back of the bow. Now I'm not going all the way through the yarn to the front of the piece, I'm just kind of picking up the back two stitches of the double crochets in each row. That way you won't be able to notice that we sewed there from the front side. Make sure not to pull your piece of yarn too tight because you don't want to make a little scrunchy kind of pattern. Alrighty, and then I'm just going to tie this off on top. And 
And you can tie your two pieces together there if you want to make sure it's extra secure. All right, so we are done with one side. Now we must do the other. So I'm gonna take a, another strip of yarn and thread my needle there and tie it into place. And then I'm just gonna do the same thing on the other side, just going through the two back stitches um, of, e of the double crochet in each row as I go up so you can't notice from the front. And then once you get to the top, give it a couple knots there to secure it. All right. Now our bow is ready for our centerpiece. As you can see, we've got kind of two loops on each side, so the bow will be nice and fluffy. And then we're going to take our centerpiece here and scrunch it together. So I fold the top and bottom parts back and kind of make a squiggle kind of shape. <laughs> I don't know how else to describe it. And then our center piece will go on there. Alright, so I'm gonna thread my needle here with the longer tail on the center piece and then I'm just gonna sew it with a whip stitch back and forth to secure it. And then I'm going to just give it a couple knots again to keep it secured and tie it to the beginning. Voila! Now we can actually see that we have a bow. It's got nice fluffy ends, nice big bow. So now we need to weave in our ends and attach our clip. So to put my clip on, I went ahead and took out that center um, springy piece and then I stuck it through the center piece of the bow to add extra security in case our glue eventually decides to let go, our bow won't fall completely off, it'll still be attached there. So now you're going to take either your fabric glue or your hot glue. Now fabric glue works well, but it does take a little bit longer to set to the fabric, whereas a hot glue will d dry pretty quickly. So whichever one you want to use, just figure out where you want your bow and then um, run your gl glue across the metal piece and then stick it together. I had to wait probably about 10 minutes before it was really secure to the clip and then uh, allow about two hours to dry. So this is what it will look like when you're all done. As you can see, it's nice and fluffy and really, really cute. And here is my daughter modeling her new bow that she really loves. So I hope you guys enjoyed crocheting this with me today. And I hope to see you guys in the next video.